So we're starting off with case number one. So all the cases that we are doing right now are in open C. and good visibility and no other traffic. There is no other traffic. All the cases that we're doing right now. So we're starting with case number one. Case number one, we have vessel A, powered in vessel, and there's a vessel B, another powered in vessel. Open C and distance off is five miles off. What will be the first step that you'll take? So regular compass bearings. So can you repeat that better in a better phrase? Take So take series of consecutive bearings. Correct. Take series of consecutive. From bridging repeaters. Visual compass bearings. From bridge wing repeaters. Take series of consecutive visual compass bearings from bridge wing repeaters. The purpose is to determine Risk of collision. Risk of collision. Let's say risk of collision is yes. Now what will be your action? So you are in vessel A. My duty to keep clear as per rule 15. To keep clear as per rule number 15. So what will be your action? Alter to starboard. Alter course to starboard side. Anything else you would like to do? One shot blast fast run. One shot blast. And alter course to starboard and pass well clear. And you're doing this as per which all rules? Rule 15 and 16. Rule number 34. Short blast is as per what rule? 34A. 34 alpha. 34 alpha. And all the course to starboard is as per rule number 15 and 16. So this would be your answer. Okay, is this clear to everybody? Is me going doubt to me? Yes, sir. Okay, we're coming on to case number two now. Coming on to case number two. You're on vessel Bravo. Own vessel is Bravo. Own vessel Bravo, case number two.
point number 123 will remain the same no change in point number 123 123 will remain constant throughout now sab jagah yahi chala jayega so what will be your action on bravo maintain the course and speed correct absolutely right maintain course and speed and this is as per which rule so 17 17 17 and 17 where स्पीड next distance reduces 5 becomes 4 what will you do next i short and rapid blast to attract attention as per 34d 34 delta you need to attract her attention she still does not do anything distance still reduces from 4 it becomes to 3 so take such action which would be best to avoid collision so what will be that action alter to Sir, alter to starboard. To starboard or reduce speed. Or reduce speed. One short blast. And alter course to starboard. And pass well clear. And this is as per thirty-four alpha. And seventeen Charlie. So seventeen Charlie says, "Do not alter course to port. Port नहीं जाऊँगा मैं किसी भी हालत में. तो मैं स्टार्ट जाऊँगा. क्या मैं गोल चक्कर काट के ऐसे जा सकता हूँ? Yes sir. Yes sir, जा सकते हैं. Yes sir. कहीं लिखा हुआ है गोल चक्कर लिखा तो नहीं नहीं लिखा क्वेश्चन अक्रॉस इज वॉट इज दिस दैट आई एम डूइंग इज इट नॉट द सेम एज दिस सर जब तक आप शिप को उतना फुल टर्न करके करेंगे तब तक uh, सिचुएशन अलग हो जाएगी इंस्टेड ऑफ डायरेक्टली पोर्ट में अल्टर करने पर दिस इज नोन एज पोर्ट अल्टरेशन दिस इज नोन एज पोर्ट अल्टरेशन जस्ट मेयरली शोइंग योर बैक साइड टू दी अदर वेसल डज नॉट गिव यू अ पासपोर्ट टू डू एनीथिंग जस्ट बिकॉज यू शोन योर बैक साइड टू हिम means you've got a, a clean chit to alter to port negative this is port alteration not allowed what if you do this and at that point in time he says ke i'll go as per rr and i'll alter to starboard fair what will you do now the very reason why 17 charlie prohibits you from altering to port so you can't maro a goal chakkar no rule says goal chakkar maro 
Is that okay? Yes, sir. Rules are all about what is your intention to alter to. So when you give your alteration to starboard, your intention is to go starboard, not to maro a gul chakkar. When you alter to port, your intention is to go towards the other vessel, which is prohibited. The basic fundamental of this entire story is that this is your green side. So you can only go to your green side. This is your red side. You can't go to your red side. Either ways, kisi bhi tarikhe se gol chakkar gaad ke bhi idhar mein aajao. You are still in the red zone. Similarly, this is his green zone. And this is his red zone. So you can't maro a gol chakkar like this and go like this. Or you can't maro a gol chakkar like this and go like this. There is no gol chakkar at sea. Rules were not made for gol chakkar. Rules were made for straight alteration, either to starboard or port. Is this okay with everybody? Yes, sir. Thank you. Yes, sir. All right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So let's go to case number three now. Uh, excuse me, sir. Anji. Sir, if we are vessel B and we are altering our course to starboard side, hmm. and we are course to starboard side just because there was a collision situation in this. There was a situation where A was not altering at all. Which he was supposed to. So he was not altering. So you went to starboard. Now, when you go to starboard, and if A does not do anything, then two, three possibilities exist. One, you are letting A know that I am awake and I know my ROR, and there is no way I am going to go to port. So, which means by altering like this, you are showing to this guy that you need to alter to starboard. Supposing you alter to starboard and he alters to port, now what will you do? So, if he alters to port, we will come back to our course. Can you do that at two miles, one mile, three miles? Can you come back to port? No, sir. Please remember this guy at any point in time, even at the last minute. He can alter to starboard and he'll still be as per the ROR. Agreed? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. So, yes. So, the basic fundamental why this is a red zone for you is because of this. Because this is the last minute. When you, he's one cable away, he can wake up suddenly. Usko ROR yaad aa gaya. उसको सडनली बोलता है जी नहीं मेरे को तो कैप्टन सरीन ने याद करा दिया मुझे अभी अब मुझे याद आ गया क्लास में बोला था अभी तक अभी तक सो रहा था वो नो सडनली इज वोकन अप एंड ही सेज नहीं नहीं आई नीड टू गो टू स्टारबर्ड माय आरओआर सेज सो व्हाट विल यू डू यू यू कैन ओनली गो टू स्टारबर्ड दैट्स ऑल देयर इज नो वे यू कैन कम बैक टू पोर्ट Till this guy is clear, you will go to starboard. At best, what will happen? You will be going parallel. That's all. At best. But 
but the basic idea of this whole story is that if you go to starboard like this and he goes maintains it like this if this distance is x this is y come what may x will always be less than y kya kuch bhi ho jaye do you agree yes sir Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, so, since x is is always going to be less than y, you will be crossing ahead of this guy. You as a stand on stand on vessel. So the basic rules have been framed in such a way that the giveaway vessel cannot cross ahead of the stand on vessel, but the stand on vessel, if the giveaway vessel does not take action, can cross ahead. समझ में आया इज दट ओके सो ही इज अलाउड टू क्रॉस हेड बिकॉज इसको कोई प्रोहिबिशन नहीं है और ये पैरल भी जा सकता है अगर बहुत सेफ होना चाहता है तो ये पैरल हो जाएगा बट एट नो वे विल ही ऑल्टर कोर्स टू पोर्ट प्लीज रिमेंबर दैट कभी भी गलती से भी पोर्ट मत ऑल्टर कर देना क्योंकि जैसे ही आप पोर्ट ऑल्टर करोगे उस वक्त ये स्टाबर्ड जला जाएगा अब आप मुसीबत में आ गए So just remember that. Excuse me, sir. Mm-hmm. Well, sir, uh, what if the obstruction is uh, in our starboard side? Then what we will do, sir? Okay, now obstruction can stop. Now, 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 अभी तो पहले तो लेट्स गेट आवर बेसिक वेयर आर ओ आर लेट्स गेट इट इन ऑर्डर फर्स्ट इसमें कोई शक है किसी को क्या करना है क्या नहीं करना है नेगेटिव सर ओके चलो लेट्स मूव अहेड आई कम टू दैट केस सो केस नंबर थ्री एक्सक्यूज मी सर हाँ जी सर इन दिस केस इफ द अदर वेसल Uh, is doing much greater speed than our vessel sir mm. then, then i will not cross ahead obviously then i will be altering so basically what am i doing on b on bravo to main bravo mein karunga kya on the bridge i'll go to my arpa i'll do a trial maneuver and i'll find out from the trial maneuver what alteration is required for me to maintain a minimum cpa of masters night order whatever 2 miles 1 mile 3 miles whatever it is so i'll do a trial maneuver on bravo kitni alteration mujhe karni hai taaki mera minimum cpa 2 mile ya 2.5 mile ka ho and jo wo alteration aayegi main utna alter kar dunga baat khatam Yes, sir. Thank you. Okay, okay? Yes, sir. Is that okay? Does it make sense? उट सर इवन आफ्टर ऑल्टरिंग माई स्पीड सी ओपन सी वेरी रेयरली okay there will be some cases where we'll be reducing speed boy i'll do that separate question but generally all our uh, alterations are based on alteration of courses okay sir thank you sir reduction of speed comes in only in case i have not taken an alteration of course good enough in good time and i have allowed a situation to deteriorate so much that itna pass aa gaye hain 2 mile pe ya 1 mile pe aa gaye hain aur ab then i need to come down very heavily on speed so basically my drastic action chahiye mujhe but what is the reason for this drastic action because in action on my part at some stage i did not take an action when i was supposed to us waqt maine action liya hi nahi ab main aisi sthiti mein aa gaya hu ki ab uh, mere hath pair dagmaga rahe hain i'm shaking now 
so always remember if you land up in a mess it you have landed up in a mess because at some point you were supposed to take an action you did not do that is why you have landed up in a mess now and if you are in a mess then you need to take a drastic action us waqt ye chote mote action nahi chalenge us waqt you have to come to us ekdam ya to engines ko stop kar jao aur chup chap baith jao because us waqt aap koi bhi action loge और वो गलत साबित हुआ तो लेने के देने पड़ सकते हैं इट कैन बी वेरी डाइसी ओके केस नंबर थ्री केस नंबर थ्री सर एक क्वेश्चन है था सर हाँ जी बोलिए सर एक बार सिचुएशन ऐसा आया था कि हम लोग ऐसे सी में सर अपना वॉइस पे जा रहे थे सर तो एक वेसल था वो फर्स्ट हमारे स्टाफ बोर्ड में था सर वो फिर हमारे पोर्ट में गया हमारा हेड क्रॉस करके अगेन सम टाइम सर वो दोबारा अल्टर करके और फिर वापस स्टाफ बोर्ड में आया हेड क्रॉस करके और फिर अगेन सर जब और क्लोज आ गए उसके तो देन अगेन फिर वो अल्टर करके सर वापस फिर वो पोर्ट में गया सर हेड क्रॉस के लिए ऐसे सिचुएशन में क्या करें सर और वो बहुत क्लोजली सर हम लोगों ने तुरंत हार्ड स्टाफ बोर्ड लिया अपना उसमें हैंड स्टेरिंग में करके देन उसको बचा के निकले सर एंड दिस वाज ओपन सी यस सर लिटिल विद ओपन सी सर यू आर अप्रोचिंग ऑन द चैनल व्हिच चैनल एंड सर दुबई दुबई ओके यस सर बेसिकली ये स्टाब व्हाट यू आर सेइंग इज स्टाबर्ड से पोर्ट चला गया and and i am assuming ke he is slightly faster than you because um, ke wo aage ja raha hai to yes, to he must be about 0.5 or one knot more than you yes sir to uh, starboard se jab port mein gaya aur aage se bow cross karta hua gaya to yes sir to uh, sure. was it over one watch ya yeah. जल्दी से निकल गया था सर जल्दी से निकल गया था और उसको कुछ भी हॉर्न दे रहे हैं या उसको पे बुला रहे हैं कोई रिस्पांस नहीं दे रहा था अगेन वीएचएफ पे बुलाना इज नॉट आई नो वी डू इट वेरी ऑफन एट सी एंड एक दो तीन चार एंड ऑल दैट हैपेंस बट दैट इज नॉट एडवाइजेबल फॉर कोलिजन अवॉर्डेंस नंबर वन नंबर टू अगर वो अगर स्टाबर्ड साइड से आपको ओवरटेक करके चला गया है तो क्या लेस देन वन माइल दूर से निकल के गया था कि स्टाबर्ड साइड फर्स्ट जब वो फर्स्ट टर्न लिया था तो सर नियर अबाउट वन एंड हाफ माइल था सेकेंड टर्न पे वो वन माइल पे आ गया और थर्ड टर्न पे सर वो विथ इन हाफ माइल पे आ गया था सर नहीं दैट मींस उसने फिर स्पीड भी रिड्यूस करी थी क्या नहीं सर मेंटेन थी सर उसकी स्पीड इतनी मेंटेन थी तो फिर तो डिस्टेंस तो सेम रहना चाहिए अगर डेढ़ माइल से आगे से निकल के गया है अगर बाउ रेंज उसकी आपकी बीसीआर बाउ क्लीयरेंस रेंज बीसीआर उसकी एक डेढ़ माइल थी तो उसके बाद तो उसकी बढ़नी ही चाहिए थी सर वो ऐसा एकदम सीधा एकदम स्ट्रेट जा रहा था फिर वापस अगेन स्ट्रेट ही वो वापस क्रॉस करा रहा है एकदम बिल्कुल स्ट्रेट टर्न करके ओके कई बार ऐसा होता है कि सम ऑफ दीज वेसल्स दे कीप जिगजैकिंग अराउंड देन बेसिकली एज अ वॉच कीपिंग ऑफिसर व्हाट यू हैव टू डू इज यू हैव टू बी एक्स्ट्रा अलर्ट नंबर 1 एंड नंबर 
अगर एक बारी वो मेरे स्टार्बर्ड से चला गया है और पोर्ट पे चला गया है तो आई एज ए पर्सनल दिस थिंग ओपिनियन आई एम फर्म बिलीवर के स्टार्बर्ड जाके अपने स्टार्बर्ड साइड को क्लियर रखो हमेशा फिर उस आप स्टार्बर्ड चले जाओ ताकि अब वो पोर्ट ना अब वो दोबारा स्टार्बर्ड ना आए एंड वो फास्टर जा रहा है constructions on each side somewhere shallow patch and this uh, submarine cables everything is there okay in case you are entering the dubai channel thereafter then i assume that your engines are also ready for maneuvering i'm assuming that and if somebody is going ahead like this what you are supposed to do is immediately call up the master let the master come on the bridge and then let the master take the call that will be the best okay but sir. yeah that is the best that is you should you should call the master thank you sir so so in this case now this is your own vessel powder and vessel and you have a vessel b which is a tug and a tow and the tug and the tow is showing is displaying the white towing vessel lights she is showing the white towing vessel lights this is your case number 3 distance of rule number 18 is sir rule number 18 action 18 and number 18 Rule number eighteen is for a ram, PD vessel versus ram. So, question is, is she a ram? That's the question. Because so she is showing the white lights. That means, what is she showing? She is showing white, white, and white. right maybe she's got two white lights here and one white light here and one green light or she has got a third white light also so if she is showing like this white 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 one white and one green like this so question is is she a ram then so the rule arwar says that she becomes a ram when she shows red white red and like this when she becomes a ram so only when she is showing red white red is she restricted in ability to maneuver if she is not restricted in ability to maneuver then she will just show like this in which case she is to be treated like a normal power driven vessel is that okay so when she is showing you these lights the white towing vessel lights then she is to be treated like a normal power driven vessel and so therefore her actions will remain the same case number 2 and case number 3 is identical no change you will maintain your course and speed wait for her to take action she does not take any action you will sound five shot in rapid blast she still does not take any action you will give one shot blast in alter course to stop it is this okay with everybody yes sir yes sir okay 
So one this question. Case, yes, please. So in this case, uh, I am the giveaway. You are the stand-on originally. Yes. Thank you. Sir. Originally, originally you were the stand-on because you are doing it as per 17 alpha. So what I am trying to say is 15, 16, 17 will apply. She is to be treated like a normal power drill vessel because she is showing you just the white towing vessel lights. She is not showing you the red, white, red lights. That's why this case is very, very common when you are single. Singapore, you are in Singapore streets. You are in your traffic lane. You have got Raffles lighthouse on your port side, and you are crossing. And you have these barges, the tug and the tow, who are bringing in sand from Indonesia, dumping them in Sentosa, and then going back. You've seen that Singapore Straits. Anybody has seen it? Yes, sir. Barges. Yes, sir. So, yeah. So, what they do is when these barges they dump the mitti in Sentosa over here, and they go back. They'll just show you white towing vessel lights. Nothing else. They because they're going back empty. They are not run. So at that point in time, you will maintain your course because he is crossing you from port to stop. Sir, so if the vessel needs to be treated like a normal PD vessel. So, sir, if the vessel so will, is in our. So the only thing, the only thing that you will do is, you, the moment you have done this, one shot blast onto coast to stop. You can't onto coast to stop, but obviously you are in a TSS, so you will only reduce speed. And you will inform VTIS. That is the only other thing that you'll do. Inform VTIS. That is what you need to do. You will not auto coast to starboard. You will reduce speed because you're manni right, and you'll keep sounding your five shot blasts, and you'll inform your VTIS. That is what you'll do. Hanji, now you can ask me the questions. So if the vessel B is in our starboard side, then we will apply rule number fifteen. If vessel B was on your starboard side, then and and she is showing the white lights, the towing vessel lights, then yes, you will apply rule fifteen. Correct. Okay, sir. Thank you very much. Absolutely right. Uh, excuse me, sir. Anji. So, what if in the orals, uh, so where asks the same question? Do we have to answer till point number four, or do we have to give all seven points ourselves? You will give all seven points yourselves. You will not wait because the surveyor is not going to wait. Okay, sir. You will you will give all the seven points yourself because he is wanting to hear hear all your seven points from you, and he doesn't have time. So you'll have to start once you start uh, talking. You'll just rattle off like a railway engine. You will not stop. Okay, <laughs> is that okay? Yes, sir. All right. So a little bit about these white these white towing vessel lights. What is the arc of visibility of this? One thirty-five. No negative. Which lights are these? All room lights. White lights. Three sixty. Okay. Open up your ROR. Come open up the ROR. Book. Open up the ROR book. Yes. And check what are what are these lights? The masthead lights. Correct, absolutely right. These are masthead lights. Will you roll number twenty-four, man? 
24A1. A PD vessel when towing shall exhibit instead of the lights prescribed in 23A1, two masthead lights. <coughs> and when the length of the tow exceeds 200 meters, three masthead lights. Okay, is that okay? Yes, sir. All right. Yes, sir. So now a little bit about the variations of these lights. Supposing you see these lights, okay? White, 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 green, and red. How will you identify this fellow? So, her length. The vessel length more than 50 meter and toe, toe length more than 200 meter. Her length is probably 50 meters or more. Probably 50 meters or more. Toe length more than 200 meters, as seen from right ahead. Okay, is that okay? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, you see three lights like this. The length of toe will be less than 200 meter. Hmm. Length of the toe less than 200 meters. Length probably 50 meters or more. Length of the toe less than 200 meters. Can this be another option? Yes, sir. Hmm. What is that? Length less than 50 meters, length of toe is more than 200 meters. Correct, absolutely right. So, two choices huh, for this flow. So, there are two choices which exist length probably 50 meters or more, toe less than 200, or length less than 50, toe more than 200. Okay. Two lights like this. Vessel length less than 50. Mm. So oh, less than 200 meters. Okay. Can this be anything else? Can this be this vessel? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So again, this this case also has two case, two choices. You can have length less than 50, toe less than 200, or you could have a length probably 50 meters or more, not towing, just a PD vessel. There's no towing. You're seeing it from right ahead. Got that? Okay, so we've done three cases and we've done variations of the third case, all the variations possible in uh, towing. Okay, towing, please remember if she's showing you the masthead lights only, then she is to be treated like a power drain vessel. She is not restricted in her ability to maneuver. Right, and generally I've given you an example. It happens when these barges come from they come in a loaded condition they'll always be a ram but when they are going ballast empty then they are not obliged to show ram that time they'll be just be treated like the normal powder okay all right all right okay yes, see you then see you next week thank you